So we have a person who was hired earning $30,000 a year in 2005. They received 3% raises each year, and we want to find a function that models the person wage, person's wages t years after 2005. Now this is going to be an exponential function because of this percentage growth rate. Now we're talking about years after 2005, so the year 2005 itself would be a t value of 0. And so in this case, this 30,000 is our initial or starting wage. So we can write an equation for the wages as, again this is going to be exponential, so it's going to have that a times 1 plus r to the t type equation. So the A, remember, is the starting amount. In this case, in the beginning, at time 0, we got 30,000, so 30,000, times 1 plus the growth rate, so 1 plus our growth rate, and our growth rate here is 3% raised to the t power. t here is years after 2005. So now we can use this function to predict the person's wages in 2015. Now this is, first thing we need to do is identify what value of t this is. Remember, t is years after 2005, so how many years after 2005 is this? This is 10 years after 2005. So we can go ahead and use our equation now. 30,000 times 1.03, I went ahead and added those, to the 10th power and I pull out my calculator, and I came up with $40,317.49 after 10 years. Now, it's not part of this problem, but just for the sake of interest, uh, suppose we went another 10 years out. So we looked at how much our wage would be after 20 years. If we continue growing at the same rate, my calculator calculates that we would, our wage would be 54,183.34. Now this is one of the interesting features of exponential growth, is notice in the first 10 years, in the first 10 years, my, the wage increased by $10,000, whereas in the next 10 years, it increased by, uh, almost $14,000. So the percent rate, because a percentage of 40,000 is bigger than the same percentage of 30,000, we end up with a larger increase during those second 10 years than during the first 10 years.